Next of the lamps. No, no, stop in. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye. Welcome to another episode of Vega 23, my friends. Today, well, after a good weekend of off-roading and cleaning off the Jeeps, we're back at the shop. But I want to talk to you guys about a little story, and I want your opinion, so be honest with me. Uh, my neighbors here are locksmiths, and... As you guys know, we're working on the Maverick. So I pulled out the old lock from the trunk and I wanted to see if they can remake the key. They no longer work on older cars, so they recommended me to one of their friends. I gave him a call and he was charging me $120 to recreate the key for that specific lock. So I thought it was a little steep, just my opinion. I went online and I found the lock with two keys for $13 and I also got the locks for the doors and one other thing that I needed so the overall total was $64 and I got way more than I would have if I got that key remade so with that being said in today's episode we're gonna reinstall the lock for the trunk on the Maverick because it is currently being held by some zip ties and let me see what's going on. Oh, I'm losing parts over here. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see if we can make this happen with the blade. There it is. Coolio. Now all I have to do is insert this lock right here. And this pin. It's going to go all the way through and pass this little hole right here to open up the trunk. Now, I know I never showed you guys what we found in this car. So most likely on the next video, I'm going to show you guys. Some, well, I'm going to put together a video of all the things we found in this car. And it was just obviously things from the 90s. Uh, I don't know what to do with them. I'm going to keep them for now. It's definitely good memorabilia. And uh, it's exciting to see because obviously it's super old. But now it's time to install this little bad boy. So, I don't quite remember exactly how it went. like a glub okay let me show you what's going on here so the lock itself has a way to go in so obviously the key is not going to be up and down i mean it's not going to go sideways it has to go up and down so it's either going to go in through that hole in the back like this and if it doesn't fit because something is stopping it from fitting. So you just flip it upside down. And there it is. Like new. So from the back end, this is what it looks like. Like I said, the lock is gonna go through that little hole. Right there. And it also has a lock that's gonna hold the entire thing from behind. Oh, this is kind of difficult. But all this is gonna do is gonna slide through and keep that lock in position from sliding back out. Let me just do this with both hands. Okay. I just 
Need something to push it in. Come on, guy. Give me a name, man. Come on, dude. Stop it. There it is, nice and tight. There it is. Just wanna make sure the lock is gonna open before I close it. Cause it was a mother effer trying to open this thing boom the lock is released do it one more time and my friends that is how you reinstall the lock for the trunk for $13 it was a bit of a pain to remove it, I'm not gonna lie. Why? Because all we had is a tiny little space in the back to get through and reach for some bolts to undo the locks. And let me show you here the little gap that I had. Oh, come on. That's a little tiny gap that I had to squeeze through to reach over and get to these screws that are up here. See that right there? Well, that's what catches the little latch. So I had to unscrew these little two baby boys. I had to unscrew these two little baby boys that were right there through that little tiny hole. And it is about 115 degrees here in Phoenix. So it was a fun time. Well, let's go ahead and put this latch back together. Um, oh yeah, I also got the cap for the gas tank. This is the one that doesn't have the lock, which I think I'm gonna be using when I'm driving around. But whenever I park it at a place, I'll just take this one out and replace it with the one that has the lock. This one, we don't have the key for, so I did buy a replacement and that was part of the three things that I bought for $64 versus paying for a new key being remade and as you know old locks also give they give out over time and i wasn't going to spend or risk that 120 just to have the lock break down on me later on well i hope you guys learned something let me know your opinion on buying something that's that expensive or if you just rather replace it and buy other things Whew, boy it's hot we'll check you guys out on the next episode thank you guys for watching Peace.